Hello everyone. Uh, today I am going to show you how to uh, create automated backups for your EC2 instances and also for the RDS. So let's get started. Uh, backup is a very important thing because in AWS uh, there are a lot of options available and a lot of things that you want to do experiment and uh, you I always uh, encourage people to have a backup policy otherwise uh, if there's anything goes wrong and uh, then you cannot revert back to your successful or stable state so we like to uh, uh, do experiments and also we need to stay a uh, stable version where we can say that this is was a stable so your EC2 instances uh, they have uh, volumes and uh, we need to ensure that these volumes have proper backup policies so for the EC2 uh, automated backups let's go to EC2 area uh, I see I have a one running instance so uh, I'm going to add the tag here okay this is a tag I have added now um, I want to create a backup policy so that this instance is automated uh, automatically a backup is created and uh, we keep a backup of last seven days and after that we will automatically delete those backups so let's go here in the left panel you will see elastic block store EBS and here you will see lifecycle manager a lifecycle manager is a place where you set your backup policies how you are going to create backups and how many days you want to keep those backups in your uh, AWS infrastructure and how many what is the interval of daily or 24 hours or 12 hours all these uh, informations you can set over there so let's create a backup policy I give a name backup of last seven days. Um, select resource type, it can be volume or instance. Uh, I, I choose instance. I have created a tag on the instance level, so that's easier for me. Then um, I give the tag name. I created the tag with project backup, so I just select here, and the value is test. So what this means that any instance which has these tags will be now in our backup policy. So let's move further and we wanted to uh, give a name. <coughs> run policy we can run it on a 24 hour or even 2 hour 3, 4, 6, 24 anything we want so let's stick to uh, 12 hours starting from uh, 0 0 then uh, number of snapshots that will be retained that means number of snapshots snapshot is a uh, your one of your backup that uh, will be stored as in it always so how many snapshots you want to keep so we have twice a day and seven days so I, I would say 14 then uh, copy tag from volume that's true then I also add a tag here I give a new tag here name and then uh, back up. so using these tags I can easily find um, among those snapshots I am role that's default one policy summary enable policy okay, policy mm. 
okay so my policy has been created and uh, it will take effect from uh, as we have a setup utc00 so the first backup will be created on uh, tomorrow early uh, early in the morning in the utc time 00 and we will have last 14 snapshots and uh, this is my policy id if i click here and if i go to snapshots here i will see my automated backups created here and at this moment there is none because uh, it's still not started yet but if i see it tomorrow then i will see the backups are pushing up here and each day twice and 14 will be available in after seven days after seven days the oldest one <coughs> oldest backup will be automatically deleted and we don't need to worry about this it's an automated process of aws so uh, we can enjoy the benefits of aws automation so i hope this gives you a brief idea of how you can do your uh, ec2 uh, backups so let's go to uh, rds one as well <coughs> so i'm going to create a new rds at this point i don't have any so create a database which is my SQL and stay within 8 years <laughs> next MySQL 5.7 that's this I choose within 3 tiers so that's due to micro enable storage auto scaling that's fine I give a name master username and I give the master password I always prefer to use a strong password. You can generate this from the strong password generator document. Oh, password don't have special characters, so we will make this. Yes. Encryption now. Yeah, there is the important part. So here I choose. Uh, as you can see, we can we have an op also an option in RDS to have an automated uh, backup of your database, and we can select the number of days retention period. It can be zero days, that means no backups, one day, that means you only have one backup, and seven days means last seven days of backup will be stored. Each day one, and uh, that means number of seven backups will be stored over there. So for this example, I choose seven. That's my backup policy. Monitoring none, log spot none, I just keep everything as it is, and enable detection, detection protection. Yes database okay my database is created so I just created the backup uh, database with a uh, uh, automated backup policy of seven days when uh, this policy will run after uh, checking tomorrow or day after tomorrow I can see the snapshots created here so um, that's that's the uh, basic briefing of how uh, automated backups can be created in AWS infrastructure. 
I highly recommend you make a backup policy for your EC2, RTS and S3 as well. Uh, this is a uh, this will help you to uh, get trust on your uh, experiments so that if something goes wrong you can revert back so i hope this ex uh, this tutorial will uh, helps you to make automated backups uh, if you like my uh, videos and wants to support me you can subscribe to my channel i will uh, thanks for your uh, help and support Thank you and have a nice day.